Hi everyone, it's your host JQ from JQ Media. We're here at Green Hope High School in Cary, North Carolina for the first edition of a Diamond in the Rough series. We're going to talk to two talented football players, Ridge Ford and Bryce Dixon. Both athletes are being recruited by the most high level Division I colleges and university. We're gonna talk about their come up, their season, and see where their talent is gonna lead them in 2016. Stay tuned. Safety. Bryce Dixon, Green Oak High School, wide receiver safety, 2016. Congratulations on your 2017 win that you guys got versus Holly Springs Friday night. You guys uh, got two late touchdowns and one of them was by you, Mr. Dixon, so take me back to that play. Um, it's a pretty good play for us. We usually use it just to get the first downs and so when he called it, I knew I was going to get the ball. Mm -hmm. So we ran a cop route and I broke off quicker than what I could. And so as we threw the ball in the air, it was an easy catch to score. What was the, the reaction from the sideline like? Um, there weren't a lot of fans in the crowd, but they made up for it just by the way they yelled and showed their expressions. And so I feel it was a real ego booster for our team for that late in the game. What was the atmosphere in the locker room like, you know, after that win? It was just great. Everybody was really happy. Everybody had so much confidence. And going to the next game, they were saying, we're going to really do this this time. And we're going to show everybody that we're one of the best teams in the state. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was really different from the last past years I've been here. Nobody really had no confidence. Mm -hmm. But Coach Dixon, everybody preaches, like, you guys need to play well and be expected to win. Now, we all know there's a lot of preparation for football season. And, you know, in the summer, you guys are, you know, attending camps and have morning workouts. So what was your summer like? Um, it was just a lot of working out, a lot of speed training. Um, just wake up, do track workouts, and go weightlifting. A lot of eating in between, get the calories up, lift the weights. So a lot of. How disciplined were you in your your eating habits and your diet? Oh, very disciplined. Um, drank a lot of protein shakes. Mm -hmm. Couldn't eat below five thousand calories wow. a day. See, I couldn't do that. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a lot of food. <laughs> now I heard you a star on the basketball court too. <laughs> So, you know, how do you balance that in the summer, you know, when you're, you know, pre doing going through your preseason workouts? How are you able to balance football and basketball? It's very hard. It's um it's good and it's hard because I gotta share time with both coaches and my AAU coaches, they understand that I play football, I'm starting football, so when I can't make AAU tournaments, I most likely in camps, in big camps, so it's really hard, but I get to see the best of the best in basketball. I get to see the best of the best, mm -hmm. even at Green Hill. Mm -hmm. So it's 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 very tough, but it's it's the best thing for me and my family. Now the 2014 Under Armour Combine you attended. How was that? Uh, it was a great experience for me. Um, a lot of NFL players were there helping us with our technique and with our forms and stuff. Larry, I got to talk to Larry Fitzgerald one-on-one, -on -one, wow. telling me about all his types of tips and tricks and how to get off of the ball, right footwork, how to catch your hands. And so Jordan Hayden was there, and I got to do one-on-one -on -one against him. I didn't really end up too well. But, <laughs> so, I mean, it was a great experience seeing a lot of the top five-star rated athletes that were also down there, too. Just knowing that you got a lot of amounts of exposure with right. Scout being down there, rivals. So I really enjoyed it a lot. Now, you know, you, you told me at the photo shoot that you have multiple nicknames, but yes, the man. one that stands out the most to me is the Hawk. Yes, man. Where did that come from? Um, it came from the Hampton University. My brother went to Hampton University played mm -hmm. football, and another DB from Miami was like, oh, he, he's a ball hawk. Even when he doesn't catch, you think he's going to catch the interception. So he was just like, you should name him Hawk, Ridge Hawk Ford. Mm -hmm. So that's where it came. And my brother was like, yeah, he is a little ball hawk out there. So, <laughs> so we just came and my, my coach just said this, always be a ball hawk, Rich. Just go get the ball. But don't worry about it. no receivers running past you. Just eyes on the quarterback and hawk the, hawk the ball. That's what I'm trying to do this year. Now, does, you, does your I mean, do your professors, your your classmates, do they call you the Hawk or they call you Ridge? They call me Ridge and they call me Mr. Coolin. They call me <laughs> Mr. Coolin. Mr. Coolin. If I stay cool, that's my Twitter uh -huh. page, Mr. Coolin. They call me Ice Cream mm -hmm. and I go short by Cream. They call me everything. I'm just happy to be Ridge for I guess. Now you guys are ranked number two in the conference. Um, you know, looking at the different polls that 
that the area has. Uh, you guys are not ranked in those polls. Like, how do you? How does that affect the team? Or do you guys even pay attention to you know what the critics think? Um, we don't really pay attention each game. We always pretend like we're not ranked. We're not. We're just the underdogs of every type of game. And that's how we go in. We have the mindset that we're going to show these people that we're not just some old green you know, team, that we're coming to win, and we're not taking anything less than that. So we could be ranked number one, we could rank number 100. We're still going to play the same type on the field and have the same preparation going into the game. Mm -hmm. I asked Bryce, you know, you guys are ranked number two in the conference, you know, right underneath Panther Creek. And, you know, I noticed that you guys are not ranked in other polls. How does that affect you and your team? It doesn't. Like, I, I think if you put us against the best team, the number one pool, we would play them the same way. Like, it's just confidence. You come in the game thinking you're going to win, you're going to win. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, you don't. Just play your game. Like, I think that after this year, everybody going to put us in that, that pool, and we're going to be basically the best team in the state eventually in a couple of years. Mm -hmm. So, this is just like a, like, outbreak year for us and our program. So I just think that if we just keep on playing and we show, the, show everybody in the state that we're really good. Now, the moment that everyone's been waiting for, your top five schools right now, All right. go. My top five, um, <laughs> probably Ohio State and Boston College, Duke, NC State, and I'll probably say that's it right now. Texas A&M, Ole Miss, NC State, Duke, and Wake Forest.